question for you guys. Is greatness intertwined in your genetic code? Or is this something you pick up along the way? I've been split between this for a while. I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes you deal with people so much and you see that latent potential, that strive for greatness every single time, and what do they do? They fall on the wayside, they quit. And then you see people who just come on in and just crush it. So is greatness a genetic factor or is it an earned factor? Jordan, what do you think? An earned factor. Why? People are determined great by their life factors of what they go through, and you can either let it bring you down or you can choose to overcome it and defeat it and become a better person. Phil, what do you think? I think it's, uh, you learn it from life lessons and failure and success. Life lessons, failure, and success. Well, what about those people that don't fail? Like they coast all the way to the top. So is it that they had some genetic talents intertwined with greatness, which they earned along the way? I don't know. I know how to work for every single thing that I have. So people might be like, Rod, you have great genetics. Well, I put in a lot of great effort inside the gym. I put a lot of great effort inside the office, in the field, in my sales, in my craft. So 90% of me believes that greatness is something attained over time. And also greatness compared to what, right? Yeah. I mean, it's also a, a definition of everybody. Everyone has their own definition of greatness. Somebody beats a level of Mario Kart in 20 seconds, they're great. Someone who goes and saves someone from a burning building might not be so great to that same individual. So it all depends on the, on the person. But today, for me, I will define greatness as the ability to persevere through any challenge and overcome it and in overcoming that other people see the gains as well. <laughs> Greatness is the composition of how many people get the win when you do. The, to me that's what greatness is. Teamwork makes it. It's not a solo thing. Like Alexander the Great. How do you get a name like that? Lead a civilization. Right? The goats, how do you get how do you get that? Right? I mean we don't talk about how great the uh, the guy who ate a million hot dogs or whatever he is, I mean, that was for himself, right? So, think about it, think about it.